Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Last time, we... No, that's not what I wanted. Last time, we were presented with a choice. We had to choose between these two grieving businessmen whose children have both run away, presumably to be together, although they think that they've been eaten by a gator man. And I need to choose, because they're feuding, I need to choose which one to align myself with and who to get the prizes from. Chapman, who I believe I'm in his room right now, um, actually no. I'm in, I'm in Tracy's tent right now. He will offer me 300 meat and an impossible fishing rod, and Chapman will give me 200 meat and a double fishing rod. Now, I've thought about this. Chapman also has an unlockable cat, and Tracy will only give me 100 extra meat. But, Chapman, whose son ran away, or is missing, I should say, before we get all the details, Chapman somehow is the only bigoted man in the somehow post-gender roles version of the 1920s in the United States. And this is a bit of a role-playing moment here. I don't think Vivian would stand up to that. I know I get more out of him ultimately, but I'm not gonna stoop to that level. So Tracy, this is you. I'm gonna help you find your daughter. And to help with that cat. This is the finders. Yes. Deal. Good. Now Peter, our guard by the front gate, was the last to see Occam's Gator in the sickening flesh. Peter chased him off our property to a revolting little ham hamlet, but dared not enter himself. I'll mark it on your map. I'm convinced that's where you'll find Occam's, and inside Occam's, Kathy. Now bring her home, you hear me? I haven't got, I don't think I got the money yet. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we're looking for Charles Wallace. That's ultimately who I'm looking for. Are you looking for something? What's back here? Crew critters, off limits. You live here, where the fish live, we live. I see. Okay, I still can't go inside your places. It is. Is this the mess? It is. And just so you know, the fish we serve here is deboned, and that's just the way we like it. I don't want to see you putting new bones in the fish. You definitely won't see that. Go on in. Oh, he does have a cat, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think that... Yeah, ultimately, this choice does not matter. I don't think. It's just a choice between 100 meat and which cat you would prefer. And bass oil. Why it's glued to the table. Bottles crate the whole thing. You now notice the reverse of the sign, which reads, if you can, take the bottles. Uh, you break the bonds of the glue with a satisfying thwarp. I guess we're taking bass oil to the speakeasy. I don't see if that anyone would want to drink that, but okay. There's a bass thong in the sink in each of the drawers. The refrigerator hums a quiet menace, or maybe it's the motor. The only item inside is a sardine salad sandwich, sardine salad sandwich in a cardboard box. The box is labeled Adams, do not eat. This, that door is locked, making this room even more disappointing. Okay. So, right, who's the guy I need to talk to? This guy? Um, what do you know about Occam's Gator? Oh, that's fake. It is? Yeah, that's a legend. An old bass life's tale. Sometimes things go missing or the business had a, has a bad run of luck and folks want a deeper explanation for it. But I can tell you that nobody here has ever laid eyes on any giant gator man. 
the bosses can't even agree on what it's supposed to look like. So Occam's Gator didn't cap these ki kidnap these kids? I really doubt it. Your boss says you saw him. Didn't you ever tell a boss what they wanted to hear? There's gators in these parts, all right. I have to scare them off the property on an almost daily basis. But I've never seen any sort of Occam's Gator, no ma'am. Occam's Gator sounds pretty scary. As do all fairy tales. Doesn't make them any more real. Fair enough. There's a little more, you have to say. What's this about a guard who got eaten by Occam's Gator? Sylvester didn't get eaten by anybody. I told him to say that because it was the only excuse the bosses would accept for a two-hour lunch break. What can you tell me about Largest Mouth Luke? I've seen him, you know. Yeah? He's not dead like they say. How long can Large Mouth Bass live? Normally only 20 years or so, but Largest Mouth Luke, Luke is a special fish. Maybe someday I'll see him again. The guard sighs and you get the sense you shouldn't fry further. I'll be going. Okay, I guess I read that already. I'm not gonna bother Chapman, because I betrayed him. Maybe I'm able to make a double across deal with both of them, but like cross your hands, shake both of their hands at the same time. I don't know what I'm saying. But I don't really want to risk that. So Um Let's go straight on ahead to the Gatorman Hamlet and follow up on any side stuff before. Hist! Get an eyeful of these two big palookas over there. Hist? Molly points out two burly men dressed in leather and fur, burying the body of a dead gator man. Well, considering the swampy grounds, they're less burying it and more just covering it in mud. They look up in surprise as Molly saunters over nonchalantly. What's the dope, Bruno? You fit in a lizard with a Chicago overcoat? Uh oh. Uh, nah, doll, it ain't like that. Ain't it? My peepers ain't. Oh, jeez, kitty, come look at this. You take a lo closer look at the body of the Gator Man before it disappears into the mud. He's dressed in some kind of uniform, with an official looking cap and epaulets, and a big canvas bag. These two mugs have gone and flipped the mailman! That's a caper that'll bring the G Men down on you like a ton of bricks. No, look, we didn't. Ha! Tell it to Sweeney. Don't flip the wig, sugar. We ain't pigeons. We won't rat your boys out to the flatties. I appreciate that, miss. We set up something of a trading post here for leather goods and the like if that tickles your fancy. Consider your options. The two men retreat into the clearing while you confer with Molly. Ooh, a leather store. Let's go and have a look-see. Leather jackets aren't exactly in style. Maybe not, Kitty, but a gator skin handbag is always the Ritz. Let's go check it out right now. The Leathers Brothers. Careful of him or he might tan your hide. Something to say about the dead gator? I swear I didn't know he was a mailman. Never intentionally hunt a mailman. I never accused you of killing a mailman. Ah, hell, me and my big mouth. He was in my way, you understand? Had no idea he was a mailman. Never would have touched a mailman if I'd known. And my brother, he had nothing to do with it, understand? I swear it. I mean, I know what's wrong with killing a mailman. It's... Mail stuff is... Big crime. Um, I don't know if that was true back then, but... I still want to see what he'll say. Listen to yourself. Can tell you ain't a hunter, all right. Most any species, it's fair game for hunting. But mailmen are protected by international treaty. Last hunter I know who hunted a mailman got pulled up by the International Criminal Court and mailed to Mars. Is he okay? Obviously he ain't okay. Don't joke with me. That's the nightmare scenario for a hunter. Getting mailed to Mars? Since sh shivers down my spine it does. Who are you? I gave him like the same accent as Molly because I kind of assumed they knew each other because she greeted him as Bruno, but I don't think he's a gangster. I think he's a hillbilly. I gotta figure out what accent as I talk. It'll come to me. Me? Ain't much to my story. I'm a hunter name of John Leathers. And if you can't tell from the accent, I'm from Albion. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but that's not helping me with what voice I should do. As a toddler, I hunted small game like mosquitoes and gnats, then moved on to foxes and voles and such as I grew up. I like the game over here, but I got my eye on the greatest hunt of all. What's that? Big picture? 
I'd like to build a ladder to heaven so I can hunt the dinosaurs. That's more of a five to ten year plan, though. Um, I don't think that's how either ladders or heaven works, but I guess it's good to have a dream. Wouldn't it be more practical to build a time machine? Now that just sounds ridiculous. John wipes his brow with the blade. Fwah, <laughs> never been asked so many questions before. You can talk the talk, all right, but what about, what about hunting the hunt? I got work that needs doing, but I ain't going out while they're searching the swamp for the sod who killed their mailman. They find me, I'm dead. You don't have to be a leather man to know which way the wind blows. What are you asking me exactly? Working on something real important, a project. For that I need five gator hides. Even know a place you might find them. Scoped it out myself. Couldn't be easier unless it was a smaller number of gator hides. What's this project you're talking about? Not so fast, need to know I can trust you first. All right, did that get added to my side quest list? Yes. No. Kathy and uh, the boy are a side quest? Okay. Well, so I don't forget, I should probably go where he wanted me to go immediately, since it's not listed on my side quest. The bedroll must be where John accesses the hunter's dream. The hunter's dream, if you have to ask, it's not meant for you. I want to go there, if you prove yourself a hunter, maybe. A sack of genuine leather. It's empty. It's only made of genuine leather. It does not contain genuine leather. The ambiguity is clear now, and the person responsible for the original description has been sacked. The man observes you with monk-like serenity. Hi there. Looks like you've set up quite the trading post here in the swamp. John shakes his head. Paul can't speak. Can't or won't? Don't. Okay. I'm not going to ask him how he became mute. That's... That's a faux pas if there is one. Can we trade? Okay. Condensed swamp gas. Increases magic of magical damage of magical weapon attacks by five. Crowbar. Why would I buy a crowbar? Don't I have one of those already? Maybe I don't and I'm forgetting. But if I need more, I know where to get it. I suppose. Gator punch. Increases damage of melee weapon attacks by five. I'll take a couple of... Oops. Well, I, okay. I only meant to buy the stuff. The one. The stuff that increases melee weapon attacks, but... Oh well. Now I got some other stuff. Muscle and physical armor. Now the pants I have right now are too good. Impregnable tack. Pickaxe. Do I not have a pickaxe? I don't have a pickaxe. You know, I'm thinking about that um, crystal cave that I have been able to crack. Huh. Maybe I'll buy that. <laughs> Where's my pickaxe? I would swear I just purchased a pickaxe. Where is it? Okay, maybe it's a key item. Sharpening stone. Roll of duct tape. Add physical armor to a hat. Yeah, I'll buy that. Powerful grits. Impregnable attack. Sharpening stone. I like both of these. And one more of these, because I have a bunch. Wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why? Might not like what you see. Eh, uh, I won't go in. Okay. So, this already has some physical armor. What does the Hexrack help do? Nah. Um, so this mace is hefty. Can I also make it sharp? Alright, it's a sharpened hefty antique mace now. It does. My muscle plus six. Nice. Yeah, I should probably sell some of this stuff, but... 
mini blowtorch. Why aren't you go getting your mini blowtorch? I'm sorry. <laughs> Curtis Connor reference. Again, second one in this playthrough, I believe. All right. We want the skins. Just so I don't forget that I have to do this, I'm gonna go to the Gatorman village. Sploom. Gah, for the lava. What's with all these stinking mushrooms? I've got spores all over me again. Why, Ayata? Don't shoot them, you'll just get more spores everywhere. Yeah, but I'll feel better about it. Revenge any solution for every situation, Kitty, but it works more often than you think. Look, just wipe the spores off with this handkerchief. Don't get all bent out of shape. This never happened when I was working the strong arm jobs. Well, except for the time that goblin exploded at me. All right, gator men. Somebody's little campsite, and it looks trashed. Oh, amidst all the garbage strewn about, you find a shiny seven, eight inch combination wrench with CW painted on the side. That's strange. Obviously this belongs to Charles, but he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who'd lose one of his tools care carelessly nor the kind of guy who'd leave trash around his campsite. You look around more carefully and discover weird tracks in the mud. Big, clawed, bipedal tracks. Maybe your gator man tracks? And there's a spot where some kind of scuffling really happened. Ah, geez, well that tears it. Charles Wallace must have gotten kidnapped by gator men. Maybe he dropped the wrench on purpose to attract your attention. Hopefully you can find him soon. Wait. Okay, the... The businessman wanted me to go to the hamlet, and the brothers wanted me to go to the village, I believe. These guys are pretty focused on their meal. They're after meal hygiene, and they're after hygiene rest, respectively. Wait, what am I looking at here? Oh, have you not seen our gator man yet? Sorry, it's hard to keep track. These are the guys Jessica mentioned, and they're pretty much what you'd expect from the name gator man. They're intelligent, upright walking alligators. They have tough scaly skin, lots of teeth, and pissy attitudes about everything that they aren't already eating. They especially hate intruders, and are the second biggest reason that the swamp isn't a popular tourist destination. The first being, it's a swamp. Let's fight them. Mush Munster is going to munch a mushroom, which will have unpredictable effects. Oh god, they're beefy. Five stench damage. Irritable three. Increase all of its stats by three every time it is damaged. Okay. Gatorman Liar Chef tends to heal its most wounded ally for five HP by throwing a nasty pastry at it. Okay, so... I think... Since this one is going to increase its stats every time it's attacked... I think that a multi-attack like Molly's Tommy Spray will not be good. But I, I'd also do want to get it down fast, so I'm going to clobber it once. Who are you going to poison, Dee Dee? The healer? Good choice. Slight riot. Oh god, 19 dam stench damage, that's quite a lot. Okay. I'm gonna do this. That finally came in handy for once. Um, 24 physical damage. Yeah, I'm gonna... Alright. Um... Alright, Dee Dee was going to die anyway. God! That's a lot. Okay. First of all, I want to throw that at you. Throw one at you as well, why not? And... I don't want you healing anybody. <laughs> it poisoned itself. Wow. Alright, I have exactly enough to kill you. Alright. 
Oh, I got two Gator Man hides. That'll teach these Gator Men about their regular daily routine. Go about their regular daily routines when you're around. Gator Stick, Muscle plus 5 Stench Damage. Nasty business. Nasty Pastry deals 15 Stench Damage. And a Swamp Mushroom <laughs> that does question mark. That must be what the Mush Muncher was eating. You also gather some gator hides for the hunter, which is way less grisly than it sounds. The gator men are just carrying these around. You didn't really need to clarify that. In the first game, like, we were getting cow hides and snake skins all over the place. Inside the gator village, like magpies and shiny objects, gators are compelled to hoard all of grandfather's items. That's odd. Nothing should grow in here. The gator men put away their rocks when they are done playing. Is this a ghost? Well, this is hardly the strangest thing you've seen over the last few days. It's definitely pretty weird. It looks like a ghostly man, mostly, obviously his head, but you can just barely make out his body if you squint. You reach out to touch him, but your hand passes right through. He doesn't respond to any attempt to get his attention, but instead he seems focused on something you can't see to the left of that disgusting fly-covered meat hook. After a few minutes, the novelty sort of wears off, so you get on about your business. Huh. A colony of slime flies has made a nest in this bulbous sack of gore. Sort of grease. Yuck. That's not your body, is that? I kind of feel like it is his body. Grandfather's chair. Grandfather's bags. A lot of meat. Apparently the creatures have no need of money. You wonder how they can afford the rent on this place. Grandfather's teeth for grandfather's mouth. Just sell them, I guess. Yikes. That one's boarded up with a rock, it looks like. Push it. Meat hooks. Oh. This building is way larger than it looks from the outside and is absolutely full of sleeping gator men. I'll leave him alone. It's pretty easy to make the song creepy by placing it in a disturbing context, but they really outdid themselves here. <laughs> it's not quite Brahms lullaby. It's just a generic lullaby, but... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. Oh god, this one has a shield? What does shielded mean? Tends to scream. Okay. Um, filthy. Melee attacks against this target will inflict five poison. Whip entire party for eight physical damage. God. Okay. Okay, it's just. Whoa, these are tough enemies. Alright. I'm gonna get poisoned by this, I believe. Oh, it didn't count as a melee attack, I suppose. Okay. I just kind of want to get rid of you so you don't kill Molly. Ow. Um... Just reduces muscle. Uh, I'm starting to actually have to worry about enemy stats. God, these these gators are a huge difficulty spike. Okay, it's only three poison. I can take it. Um, 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 um. um. Let's throw a baseball and bop this guy. Oh my god, he's a weed lord. That's why he's, his eyes are like that. Because he's, he's freaking high. I wasn't really expecting that kind of humor in this game. Alright, how many highs did we get out of that? 
Get him in skin pants. Get him in hides. I need five. So I need one more. So I guess I will have to... Oh god. These beasts are too enthralled by the strange obelisk to notice you. That seems really hard. That's a lot of them. This beast prefers books to strange obelisks. You do you, dude. Um, let's see. Wait. Oh. It was heavier, now it's heavier still. The force of each push exerts energy onto the boulder, which is translated to mass. E equals M. See? That squared away. Okay. Okay. Maybe I want to fight some of these guys instead of the ones at the obelisk. Um, just do random damage, Molly. Whittle them down a bit. Um... Let's... Throw a few baseballs. And just kill this one. Oh no, it regened. Plus six to all stats. Okay. How about you fix that, Molly? Hey, Dee Dee's actually alive. She usually doesn't last this long. Uh, can we put some more poison on you? What do I have that does poison damage? Um... Or I could... I could probably get rid of them both. Twenty four plus five. No, it's not going to kill it, but Oof. Nasty pastry, nasty pastry. All right, we got a Gatorman hide. We don't have to bother the praying, the praying gators quite yet. I'm going to make a note of that in case I want to go back to it. All right, I'm gonna erase 12 and 13 and write a note. Gator men at obelisk. Yes. Okay. All right. Leather Brothers, I got your... I got your hides. Now here's a sad sight. Old house abandoned long to the swamp. Half sunk in the wet monk that passes in these parts of roads. Might have been a nice family lived in that house one time. Now you look at it. Shame is all. Go inside. Jeepers creepers! There's a bandit shot dead on the floor, right in the foyer. Must have come looking for treasure. From the look of it, he wasn't the only one. Oh, the stink of death hangs heavy in this place, alright. I think I've got the hillbilly accent now. All I needed was a little phonetic phonetic accent accent written into the, the um, text. Let's explore. Holy gosh, sitting rooms littered with bodies. Three more bandits in the entire defensive line of the Ocean City football team. Obvious what happened. Bandits and football players got sold the same line on a buried treasure by some shifty rumor monger. Both groups came here searching for their fortune, ran into each other, and everyone got shot to pieces. Wherever that double dealer who sold them the tip is now, he better be smiling. Oh, he's here in the kitchen, also shot. By a bandit and a linebacker, looks like. But he got him too. Poor pathetic souls. <laughs> now the bedroom, the finish line, and here's who made it. Quarterback and the wide receiver. You figured they'd have been on the same side, but they shot each other in the back simultaneously. And there's nothing in here but a single jewelry box on a nightstand. Ain't that funny? All that death for a couple trinkets. 
Nothing rots a person like greed. I'm going to leave the box where it is. It's done enough damage. What? I didn't take it. Did I click the wrong thing by accident? Okay. Hold back tears and continue where I was going. Well, let's see. Let's open it. Bacon stone earrings and ring of the double header. Throw ball throws two balls instead of one. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Um, but this bottle cap ring is very good. And it's doing a lot for me in this area where everything deals a lot more damage than anything it did before. My stench armor is pretty good, actually, so it might actually not be that bad, but I don't know. I found your gator hides. Got the hides you needed. Need? Got news for you. You don't need them. You keep them. That was just a test. Wanted to see if I could trust you with the real work. Seems I can. Ready for some real hunting? What's real hunting? The truth is, I got no need for gator hides. Five gator hides. My ambitions are far bigger. You met Paul. You know he's mute. I'm working to build him a leather tongue. Family, man. It's, you know? So what do you need? Ten gator hides. Okay, I can do that. Great, my brother will be thrilled. I better be going. Okay, so I guess I should go back to the guys at the obelisk anyway. Oh boy, this area is tough combat-wise. Oof. I really like that new ring I just got, but which I didn't intend to get. I intended to leave a jewelry box where it was, but um, that bottle cap ring, I feel like I need it right now <laughs> because everything is doing so much damage. Um, yeah, that, that whole little story there with the linebackers the football players and the bandits that felt like another little role-playing moment too you know not a ton of opportunities for that in this game but you know my stats have all been pretty equal this whole time muscle has always been a little higher but the other ones have pretty much caught up but I always choose to use the melee weapons because I'm role-playing that Vivian likes to get up close and dirty so role-playing moment you know I'm trying to be better about that when I play this kind of game. Alright, well, I have been Mars, and I will be back with more Shadows Over Loathing.